ECS community. Thomas Anastasio, brother of Veronica Wiseman. Charlene Azer, Louis Berman, Phyllis Burke, wife of Norman Burke. Arthur Campbell, friend of Craig Barger. Arnold Cohen, cousin of Nate Katzen. Mike Cohen, Ingrid Edgel from Ruth Albert. Rella Batmosha Haskell Vafegalea. Joni Fishman, friend of Alyssa Cohen. Jonathan Gardner, grandson of Rona Slotnick. David Glazer. Donald Golden, father of Ken Golden. Claire Greenberg, mother of Roz Golden. Marilyn Hoffman, mother of Alyssa Cohen. Justin Israel. Carol Jelinek, mother of David Jelinek. Roger Jelinek, father of David Jelinek. Rose Jones, friend of Rona Slotnick. Rhoda Kinnett, friend of Ricky Wall. Harvey Katzen, brother of Nate Katzen. Andy Keith, friend of Ruth Albert. Sandra Lax, mother of Molly Miller. Bob Keller. Chris Leahy, cousin of Mike Cohen. Mel Lipman. Robert Little from Ruth Albert. Nancy, Nancy uh, Mayer, sister-in-law of Ross and Joni Mayer. Elaine Mostow, mother of Sharon Becker. Fred Provorny, relative of Molly Miller. Neil Shear, father of Lisa Zenick. Iris Sherman, daughter-in-law of Judy Remain. Selma Weiner from Ruth Albert. Steve Walensky cousin of Joni Mayer. Would anyone like to add the name of someone to our list? Anyone else? We hold all of them in our hearts as we sing our prayer for healing, our Misha Berach, which appears on the inside back cover of the Siddur. Misha Berach Avotenu mekor habracha leimotenu. May the source of strength, who blessed the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Bless those in need of healing. With refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Please turn to page 51 in the Siddur for Alenu, and please rise. Alenu l'shabeach la'adon hakol, la'tet gedula le'otzer breshit, shelo asanu kigoye ha'aratzot, Velo samanu kemishpechot ha'adama 
שלא שם חלקנו כהם וגורלנו ככל המונם ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא שהוא נוטש המים ויוסד הארץ ומושב יקרו בשמיים ממעל ושכינת עוזו ושכינת עוזו בגובי מרומים ואלוהינו אין עוד אמת מלכנו אפס זולתו כתוב בתורתו וידעת היום וידעת היום והשבות אל לבבך כי אדוני הוא האלוהים בשמיים ממעל ועל הארץ ועל הארץ מתחת אין עוד, אין עוד. ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ. ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד. ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד. You may be seated. It is now the time in our service where we recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. We particularly remember Ina Cherkas, sister of Louis Berman and aunt of Rachel Colchimiro, and Lucille Hare, mother of Beth Hare, for whom we are still in Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning. And our congregational family remembers with special affection our loved ones whose yard site will occur this coming week. Andrew S. Tallman, husband of Diane Siegel, Elaine Varis, friend of Stanley and Rita Spiegelman, Pauline Akel, grandmother of Karen Levine, Francine Brodsky, friend of Stanley and Rita Spiegelman, Deborah Levy, cousin of Rabbi Ken Carr, Gertrude uh, Berkowitz, grandmother of Lauren Cohen, Lorraine Walrick, mother of Robin Brooker, Gerald Hershorn, husband of Anita Hershorn, father of Rhonda Jelinek. If you are remembering someone this evening, we invite you to say that person's name aloud now. Zichronam Livracha, may the memory of all our dear ones be a blessing. If you are saying Kaddish in someone's memory tonight, we invite you to rise now. In loving support of the mourners, we rise as a congregation. In gratitude to God for the gift of the lives of their loved ones, those who are in mourning and those remembering someone, say Kaddish on page 52. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba be'alma divrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayei chon u'v'yomei chon u'v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael ba'agala u'v'izman karim v'imru amen yehei shemei rabba mevarach le'olam olamei olmaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nasei ויית הדר ויית עלה ויית הלל שמי דקודשא בריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן באמה ואמרו אמן 
יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. You may be seated. Um, it is time for our congregational announcements. Marty, would you like to do the honors? or Would, would you like to come read the announcements, Marty? They're right here. What? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, welcome to TCS for we value innovating education, building community, honoring individuality, drawing meaning from Judaism, and hold, upholding our social responsibilities. Uh, all of our programming, including the ones I've mentioned today, reflect these values. Uh, there is no Shabbat morning for our study tomorrow. Abdallah service online this Saturday at 7 p.m. This Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., TCS at TCS, pop-up Sulam Ice Cream Social and Open House. Uh, tell your friends uh, with school-age children. <laughs> uh, tell your friends with school-age children RSVP using the link in the weekly email. Um, Silicote. Silicote. Saturday, August 28th. Slight change in plans. Due to the latest COVID advisory, there will be no dinner. 6.15 p.m. movie and discussion. The Frisco Kids starring Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford. 9 to 10 p.m. Join us as we prepare for the High Holy Days with an introspective service. Complete information is included in your weekly email. Please watch your, for your weekly emails on Mondays. Information and links to all activities are included. Please remember to return your name badges to the drawers before your reading. Thanks, Marty. Good job for someone who can't see. Let's continue our service with Adon Olam on page 54. Adon Olam Asher Malach Beterem Kol Yitzir Nivra Leit Nasa Vechev Tzokol Azai Melech Shemo Nikra Azai Melech Shemo Nikra Ve'achare Kikloh <laughs> Vein sheni leham shilo lehach bira beli reishi beli tachlit velo haos veham isra velo haos veham isra vehu eri Vechai goali vetsur hevli beheit zara vehu nisi umanosli menat kosi 
ביום אקרא, מנת כוסי, ביום אקרא, ביעדו, אף כי רוחי באישן, ואעירה, ואם רוחי כביעתי, אדוני לי, ולא ירא, אדוני לי, ולא ירא. We are in the month of Elul, friends, and so we have a special um, psalm for the month of Elul. And you can find a selection on page 14 of the Sidur Supplement. Ah, the back. Psalm 27 is traditionally read, recited during the month of Elul or any portion. And... Here is a beautiful selection. Achat shalti meit Adonai Otavakesh Achat shalti meit Adonai Otavakesh Shivti beveit Adonai Kol yemei chayai Lachazot benoam Benoam Adonai Ulvaker behei chalo Lachazot benoam Benoam Adonai Ulvaker b'heichalo Shabbat Shalom. As I said, friends, uh, we are in the month of Elul. Um... And so I'm going to talk with you about the month we're in rather than the Torah portion that we're on. Um, because this is a very special month, Elul. What does it mean in our tradition? On the one hand, it's obvious the days of awe are upon us. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are coming. And in Jewish tradition, the high holy days are not isolated days that come out of nowhere. The entire month leading up to them is a time of special spiritual preparation and anticipation. Not only for those of us who are leading services are feeling fear. Um, according to our tradition, this is the time when we both judge ourselves, we examine ourselves, and God examines our lives. And according to this tradition, the story, um, you know, God has a book of life and determines the fate of each of us during this month, writes it in the book on Rosh Hashanah and seals it on Yom Kippur. There are three things that we can do to influence God to give us a better fate for the year, to be generous with us, and treat us with kindness and love. And those are teshuva, tefillah, and tzedakah. Um, those are not, we talk about those a lot on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur because those are the pinnacle. Those are the peak that we reach. But according to our tradition, we are supposed to be grappling with them now. What are they? Tefillah is prayer. We just did some tefillah, so we're, we're doing our job in that res respect. Tzedakah is giving to and supporting the poor. And interestingly, it is very different from the Christian word for doing so, charity. Charity comes from the goodness of one's heart, of feeling pity and um, feeling charitable. 
Tzedakah is from the root for justice, that supporting the poor and giving to the poor is a matter of justice in Jewish tradition, not of feeling good. Teshuvah, the first one on the list, is more complicated, so let's talk about it for a bit. It is often translated repentance, but literally it means return. But return to what? Originally, and still in many circles, it probably means a return to God's ways, to the path of Jewish law, of mitzvot, and being a righteous person according to Jewish tradition. And there's a lot of value in that. But there's also value in seeing it in a wider way. I've seen it discussed very beautifully as being a return to one's best self, to one's essential self. And maybe those two aren't necessarily so different. Rambam, the great scholar of the Middle Ages, also known as Maimonides, has a lot to say about teshuva. And here are a few things. He says that teshuva is not like a New Year's resolution. That teshuva is only achieved when you find yourself in the same situation where in the past you have fallen short, but this time you don't. In other words, you have made a true transformation in your character and behavior. He talks of two main areas to focus on in teshuva. Relations with other people and relations with God. We can achieve atonement from God for our sins against God, where we fall short in, say, prayer or Jewish practice. That's easy. God will forgive us for that. Our problems with other people are tougher because God, according to our tradition, God forgives us only after we have made it right and made peace with those in our lives whom we have hurt. These sound like good things to do. Why do them only for the high holy days? Well, according to our tradition, they aren't just for the high holy days. We're supposed to do them all the time, continuously throughout the year. In traditional Sidurim, there is actually a daily confessional that looks a lot like, like an abbreviated version of what we do on Yom Kippur. But at this time of year, there's a special urgency to do them. According to a Hasidic tradition, Elul, the month that we are in, is an acronym for a phrase from the Song of Songs, Ani Lidodi Vidodi Li. I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. It sounds like something that you would say to your husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend. But according to our tradition, the Song of Songs is a love song between the Jewish people and God. And in saying that Elul is an acronym for this phrase from this love song, it is emphasizing the love between us and God. And that we have a special opportunity to have an intimate relationship with God during this month in the High Holy Days. So that if God is judging us, God will judge us in a loving way, not a harsh way. There's a similar fr phrase at this time saying that during Elul, the king is in the fields, meaning king is God, and that God is not in a remote palace or heaven where we... We're, we can't reach God. God's not available. No, God is down here with us in the fields and accessible to us and available to us if only we reach out to God at this time. And all of this is why in Elul we read or sing from Psalm 27 where we just sang Achat Sha'alti, which is about our desire to be close with God. It is also why during the month of Elul we blow the shofar. The shofar, here is a large example. Um, 
This is, according to Rambam Maimonides, a spiritual alarm clock. That's what this is for. It's designed to wake us up out of our slumber. Our spiritual slumber, not physical slumber. That would be kind of mean <laughs> to wake someone up with this. But um, no, to, to wake us up out of our doldrums, to get us out of the habit of thinking, oh, if everything's fine, nothing's wrong, I, do, I don't have anything I need to improve in my life. And to see that we all have room for improvement. And that's what our tradition wants us to do. To do teshuva, to repair and improve our relationships with other people and with God. So let me wake you up now. Could someone give me a tekiah? And I'm going to do this not facing you. Even though I, I just had a COVID test, by the way. It's negative. Ah. So let's conclude our service now with Kiddush on page 312. Oops. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hakafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, Viratzavanu, Vishabbat kodsho, Piyahava uvratzon hinchilanu, Zikaron le mahase vereshit, Kihu yom tehila le mikrahe kodesh, Zecher litziat mitrahim, Kivanu vacharta veotanu kidashta mikohamim. Shabbat God Shecha Beahava Uvratzon in Chaltanu Baruch Atadonai Mekadesh Hashabbat. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.